Welcome back, family and friends. And I've got the good old partial of terror again for, I believe, August. Getting a little behind. Get a little off track, but I think it'll be okay. I think it's... I'm getting a little off track. Not partial of terror. I just get behind on opening my box. But this is the August box with the partial of terror goodies. Let's see what handmade, crafted, cool or horror items we have in here. And I believe this theme for this August box was cryptics if you know what crypto cryptads are they're bigfoot they're the Loch Ness monster the chip cobra all those weird little things you hear about from all different areas of the world and they're featured in this box this month so see what we got we got a nice black paper there put old duck knife away where am I and let's reach in and grab something yeah I got something here <laughs> I was just talking about the chicka chip cobra we got a chipper cabra, El Chipper Cabra figure, and he looks great. They got a nice blue and purple color scheme, but look at the header there. The header looks pretty great. I always hate taking them out of the baggies, but I always keep the header because I know that was uh, put together by Jason McKittrick as well, graphic design program. And I'm a graphic designer at heart, and one day I'm going to get back into doing that myself. But here we got an old Chupacabra figure. This is pretty great, and I believe that's the New Mexico legend, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but here we go. Here you got him. The lights are terrible as always. Let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. See, you got some nice blues. Some great detail there, which is not going to catch on the camera. Scales and whatnot. You even got a little tail. Boop, boop, boop. Look at that guy. Look at that. All right, let's move on to the next item. We'll come back to that, of course, when I get to the flyer. And uh, pull the flyer out real quick. Nice yellow flyer. Usually I get the flower out first, don't I? <laughs> but uh, it says, welcome to the Cryptozoology. That's what it is. Cryptozoology edition of the Partial Terror Part Dos, Part 2. Because he did one, I want to say, maybe the first year of the Partial Terror. Possibly the second year of the Partial Terror. I can't remember. The Partial Terror, terror has been going and going and going for a while now. So I love to see, you know, handmade horror items keep right on going. All right. Get the zoology edition of the Partial of Terror Part 2. We had always planned to do more cryptid figures, but this is a great response we got from the first edition late last year. We did another. Okay. Got it wrong. So last year was the first cryptozoology edition of the Partial of Terror. And I want to say um, we got some cryptozoology items quite a few years before that in another partial of terror. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we got a big Loch Ness Monster wall plaque on uh, one of those early editions of a partial of terror. So let's put that down. Look at that. You got a Loch Ness Monster there <laughs> on the back of the paper on the watermark there. All right. We got a art print here. It's like some Sam Heimer's work. Yes, it is. I'm not sure what this is, but this could possibly be a Bigfoot or something. We'll find out. I'm not quite sure, but we'll find out when we read the flyer. Look at the art there. If I can get the glare off of it for you guys. I got so many lights set up now, I can't quite get used to the correct setup. One day I'm going to have a permanent setup with lights just up and I just show up and film. But when you got to set up the lights every time in between each. In between each video, you're not guaranteed to get the best light. Alright, next. I've got a Mella. i got the Flatwoods monster figure. I'm not sure what area this is from. 
but it, it's the old, it's the uh, one I heard about. It kind of looks like an alien. It pops up from now and then. There you go. I got a nice black and greenish yellow colorway scheme there. Pop them out real quick. And also got the BAM upside down. Partial tear. Go there. Get partial tear. Get the crypto cast membership. Get all kinds of great handcrafted horror items. Boom. Right there. Link will be in the description below. But here you go. Here, here's him. And of course, I gotta get in there close so you can see the details. It's got some little alien looking hands there. Curling around there. Got a weird alien look about him. With that big headdress type of thing on there. Big old bulbous eyes there. Can we see that eyes? Yep, see him? Alright, next. What we got? I got a, a, a tongue painter. Lollipop. Paint your tongue all nice and black and orange. Because this is a... Uh, what color? Grape. It's a nice and purple tongue later. Alright, so that's all the items. We've got two hand sculpted figures two good little size ones so that's pretty good we will go back to the flatwoods monster real quick I'm trying to figure out where I'm getting that horrible glare there we go there we go got it guys alright crypto cast figure let me get the figure out and we'll hold him up again and y'all can just look at him the Flatwoods Monster Cryptocast, one of the strangest cryptids to be reported in the last century. The Flatwoods Monster has been explained to be to be everything ranging from an alien lizard man in a metal suit to be a, to a mechanical rocket-powered robot being tested by the government. Sighted in Flatwoods, West Virginia in 1952 by a mother and a group of young boys. I love the 1950s sci-fi look of this creature. He does kind of have a sci-fi 50s look about him. And that was sighted in West Virginia. They were probably just drinking too much moonshine out there. <laughs> but, alright, I'll leave that joke for everybody to figure out on their own. But that's, that's a great little figure. Good little size. About the size of my hand. Look wonderful back here on the shelf with the rest of these guys. Put him up there. Do more second shelf there, probably with the Mortal Kombat crew there. All right, next up. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, well let's hold him up again real quick. This is a uh, cast in signature crypto cast style resin. Five different version colorways of this figure, bagged and with a custom topper. Include. Ooh, ooh I included a pin in this cryptid. In the first edition, I got so so many requests that a full figure was was on the top of the list. Okay, so yeah, I believe there was a little pin that was made of this guy. I might have it. There it is. Here's my uh pinhead trucker hat and I put all the uh, partial tear handmade sculpted pins on it I'll give you a quick once over but the reason I pull it out because they did um, the Flatwoods monster pin uh, in the first edition of the cryptozoology partial tear and there he is right there so that's pretty neat he did a full figure of it there you go. Up next to this guy. So we got big guy and mini me. <laughs> but uh, since I'm holding my hat, I like to put all the pins on it. But since I'm holding the hat, I'll give you show you the rest of it. There's a big old sigil on top. I think I went that way, but let's keep going this way. All right. Some great ones on here, man. I could feature these pins in a video if you'd like. See, look, we got a Predator, we got a Freddy Snake, we got an Alien Egg, we got a Fly Pin, we got a Bloody Skull. 
You got uh, Jason Goes to Hell, old Sam from Trick or Treat, Trick or Treat, and we got a good old Slimer pin, which was the very first um, pin, I believe, from Partial Tear, the very first pin ever made. So that's this is a great little hat. All kinds of great stuff on there. Head, shrunken head from Beetlejuice. This is just my uh, big old pinhead trucker hat that I like to. Thought it'd be fun to put the pins on. <laughs> it's a custom made hat, by the way. Uh, all right, next up, let's just leave the hat on for the video. The Skunk Ape art print from Sam Heimer. Hold it out a little bit while I read it, then I'll zoom it in again for you. Sam Heimer brings us his take on his infamous Harry Homage in the swamps of Florida, the skunk ape. The creatures reportedly smelled way before spotted, which explains the name. It's a hominid. That means it's kind of ape-like and human-like, I believe. There you go. Pretty neat artwork. Sam Heimer always does great work. Sam Heimer's Halloween drawings are so amazing. He'll probably maybe be featured again soon. Possibly in the October box. I don't know. I can't remember what next month is in the October box, but we'll see. Well, we got to get through the September one right first. August, September. Yep. All right. Next up, we got the El Chipacabla. El Chipacabla. There's the topper again, real quick. I like that picture right there. El Chipacabra figure. El Chipacabra Cryptocast. First reported in Puerto Rico in the early 90s, El Chipacabra, or the Goat Sucker, got its name from its penchant to drain the blood from its goats and other livestock. This creature has been a cultural phenomenon that has widespread sightings and encounters all over Latin America. Our signature CryptoCast style resin, four different colorways, comes with a custom baggie. And I will zoom in here for you. Get it on his little face real quick. With his little teeth. Little teeth there. I'll try to get some pictures with this video. Not guarantee I'm going to put pictures at the end, but I hope I like I will. I still like the little tail. Also, if you get a partial terror every month and a CryptoCast subscription every month, you get a bonus thrown into your uh, partial terror. If you're a dual subscriber, that is, both to partial terror and CryptoCast. If so, an exclusive Jersey Devil CryptoCast figure would have been included. So you would have got a Jersey Devil also CryptoCast figure with El Chupacabra. All right, and that's it for the partial terror for. August, I believe I said it was. <laughs> so, next month, let's see, is the sixth annual Halloween edition. So, that is awesome. I was correct. Next month's going to be the Halloween edition featured in the what we got? September box. So, September, October. So, he's trying to get it out because he knows he'll get it out, shipped out in October. And boom, everybody will have the Halloween partial terror which is featured for September in that beginning of October. So that's cool. And all right, what was your favorite item in this box? I really like the Chip Chupacabra figure. That's probably my favorite out of it. Stay tuned some, for some videos if I attach them to this video. <laughs> Maybe I'll get around to taking some photos and attach them, trying to get a better look at these guys. But that's it, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, and y'all go enjoy the spooky Halloween season for 2020 and try to make the best out of it, you know. Just, if somebody comes in the yard, just throw Halloween candy at them. You know, here you go. Just throw it out in the yard, you know, and just let the kids get out of the yard. Yeah. Social distancing, but we got to keep Halloween alive. So, another quick look at the hat here. If y'all want to see that. I got two skulls. I got the red, and then I won this one in a giveaway. It was a bloody edition. There you go. I believe that's old. I, 
this comics, uh, kind of like a Crypt Keeper like guy, but it's from old comics, East, e, DC Comics, I think. But all of these are so great, it's hard for me to pick a good one. Cthulhu's great. I believe that's the. Is that the Burning? Him? From the Burning, the Slasher? I like the little ghost. It's perfect for the Halloween season. Right there. Alright, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. Appreciate you dropping by the channel, and I'm going to try to make more videos. I ain't making no guarantees of that. I just get lazy lately. I just like to talk in the comments. Leave me some comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye. Take care, everybody.